Hi, and welcome back to Ask a Pennsylvania Dutchman. My name is Chris LaRose, and this here is Douglas Maidenford, our resident Pennsylvania Dutchman. Hey, Doug. Yes. We fished. All right. All right. That's, all right. That means all right in Pennsylvania yeah, yeah, yeah. Dutch. Well. Well, you know what I want to hear. Well, you want you want them their questions, I Doug. Want a all question. right, we got one for you. Well, this question comes in from the Baron von Unbolter. We're getting nobility questions now? Mm -hmm. Where does this Baron live? He lives in Buffalo, New York. It's okay. Big deal. We've That's, got royalty in New got, York guess, asking us questions. Yeah, we've made it. Though. We've made it. We've We're made there. It. Yes. Well, the Baron von Unbolter wants to know, my question is, did the PA Dutchman invent the junk drawer? <laughs> if so, uh, then what would a PA Dutchman's junk drawer contain? Does he, okay, time out. When he says junk drawer, does he mean like a drawer in your house that just is full of random stuff? Oh, of course, you know what it is. Well, who the heck doesn't have one of those? And who do you think it is? I think if anybody says they don't, they're lying. Well, and the, I'm going to give, I'm going to answer this partially right now and say, yes, the PA Dutchman did in, invent the junk drawer. I don't know if I'll go that far. Well, like they I have don't. to. Well, think about it, Doug. We're a frugal people. Yeah. We save everything. True. Absolutely right. everything. Nothing gets wasted. So where do you put all that extra stuff that you're going to use someday? Well, I put it in my chunk drawer. Everybody puts it do in the chunk, chunk drawer. Do you have a chunk drawer? Everybody's got a chunk drawer. Where's yours? It's, it's in the kitchen. Mine's in the kitchen, too. It's in the corner, Doug. Is yours in the corner? It's near the corner. Yeah. It's going towards the corner. It's a PA Dutch right of passage. It, yeah, maybe. I don't. We'd have to find out if other cultures have junk drawers. Well, it depends but on I'll, what's in it. Well, no, that'll determine your. That'll determine what culture it is. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, well how are we going to talk about this? I mean, what he went. Well, luckily, Doug. Yeah. Mister Baron von Unbolter <laughs> sent us a list of examples of things in. Asking if we have these things in our chunk drawer. Yes, yes. What a guy. All right, so example. Yes. Used bread bag twisty ties. Oh, my God. I have a Ziploc bag full of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my grandma. You know what? My grandma had every used twisty tie, but she would, she'd flatten them out. I'm half convinced uh, she ironed them, too. <laughs> I don't know. I untwist, <coughs> I untwist mine so they're flat. And she's also got, like, the ones that are all stuck together, like a booklet of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundreds yes. of them. Yeah, I got those, Hundreds too. of them. I don't even know what I use them on, but I have them. Oh, you fix all sorts of stuff. I have fixed some stuff. All right. all right, yeah, yes, so yes, I have that. We've got questionable batteries, absolutely. Questionable yeah. batteries meaning you don't know if they're good or bad. You don't know uh, the history. I got, you. I got a bag full of those You don't know where they've too. been. And I got, it's like, it's, it's like battery world in that drawer. Mm -hmm. I got double A's, triple A's, single A's. I got little watch batteries. And I don't even know what, what I use them on. And you always, always, always have one shy of what you need. That, and then when you go to it, you're like, oh, this is exactly what I need. And you put it in the device, and then the battery's dead. It's always like a treasure hunt, you know? Mm -hmm. It's exciting. It's That's lottery. It is exciting. When you don't yeah. live with technology and all that stuff, yeah. you know, the, the TVs and things, yeah. you, you yeah. got to have all something right, so fun to do. Batteries. we got batteries. Testing yes. batteries. Batteries, absolutely. Did you, did you ever get in the habit of getting those 9-volt batteries, and you lick them, and it's, you get that shock to see if they're... If they're Good no, or not? No. Well, Doug, that's that's my exciting. father is so anal that he actually bought a little battery tester, and I've seen him do this. He'll pull batteries out of that drawer. His he's got one too, and he'll be sitting at the kitchen table testing to see what the what much less than the battery. Oh man, I was the battery tester when I was a kid. Just licking stuff. Dad say, "Hey, I need a nine volt. Go yeah. get me one out the drawer." Yeah. And he, I said, "Oh, how do you tell if it's good? You just lick it once." And so I'd lick the battery, and if I'd be like, "Oh, that, that little twingy there, like yeah, that. Oh, that was dead. Lick yeah, another yeah, one." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd lick the other battery. If it, yeah, yeah. I'd get goosed all <laughs> the heck. And I'm, oh, yeah, it's yeah, I have to go and bring it over, boy. Yeah, here you go. Yeah, yeah, all right. What else? What else? What else? This is all fun. Right. This is right. fun. Yeah, all right, so bits of string. Yeah, of course. Yep, yep. I got a ball of string in there. Yep, you never know when you You never know when a tomato plant needs tied up. Mm hmm Never. Sentimental matchbooks with one match with one match left. Is this guy looking in our junk drawer? He must have, because I got that too. I've got three or four. I got matchbooks match that were given to I must have taken out of my parents' junk drawer because it's like uh 
<laughs> I've got matchbooks it's like from the 30s in there. Clover Farms Dairies Summer Picnic, 1962. And I got that book of matches and there's two matches in there. And, they're just and then I got some from weddings that I was never at. Wedding, weddings used to give them out as favors. Boy, that now we're getting old here. And you know the thing is, is like you'll, you'll have these old matchbooks, but they're they're just old enough, just too old to get rid of. Could yeah, you, like, every time I pick that one up from 1962, I'm like, I can't throw this away. You know, even if it's from 1977, you think that's been around a while. It's been in this drawer for seen like something. five presidents or something. Yeah, like that. Yeah, I can't get rid of this. No. I'm emotionally attached I to get, it now. Yeah. I, and yes. you never know when you're going to need that you last match. You never know. And matches pre-1990 matches are, are different. They they they, they burn hotter. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. They, you should call them barn burners. You can keep a match <laughs> in your pocket. You walk around. Your chains jingle the wrong way. Your, your pants catch, catch on fire. Catch on fire. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a true story. You know, and yeah. I bet you, you better hold on to all your matches. Even the ones that only have... Because when the apocalypse comes. When the apocalypse comes, you're going to need them. And if the apocalypse doesn't come, you can sell them on, on eBay. eBay. Because go. everybody goes around with these vape pens now. And nobody eBay. lights up matches anymore. Nobody's smoking. Nobody's lighting candles. They got little magnetic... Or not magnetic. They got battery-operated candles that go dim in about 20 seconds because you're using old batteries in them. Sell your right, matches what, what, on eBay. What else you got? What, what, right. what else? Okay, all right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got to keep you keep you focused. Yeah, I got distracted. Focus I do. All right. Uh, I just lost my place. Hold on. We're getting there. Okay. Okay. Possibly a tape measure. Yeah. With the marks worn down off until uh, past an inch and a half. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've got two or three of those in there. Uh, yeah, I got more of, than one. I got the rolly kind, and then I got the old foldable kind. Yeah, I got too. one of those, and I got one of the, the tape ones there, too. That, that you wind? No, like, not not one of them little cloth ones there. Oh, to, like, measure clothes. I measure my body. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you, well, you don't need much for that. <laughs> All right, that hurt, Doug. Yeah. That hurt. That cut deep, man. All right. A magnet, yeah. Magnets, yeah, yeah. Old yeah. wine corks. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. got that too. Old wood screws, yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes. A dull razor blade, yeah. Dull razor yeah, blade. Yeah, 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 yeah. This guy must have looked at my drawer. Uh, two prong, 110 volt plug adapter. I've got several of those. What the heck? A flashlight with a burned out bulb. Yep. Yep. Bent nails, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy, yeah. And you know, as a collection, it sounds crazy, but each one has a purpose, mm -hmm. and that's why I can't get rid of it. Because as, like you said earlier, I look in that drawer, I'm like, I should really clean this drawer out, and I pick something up, I can get rid of this, and then I look at it, and I, I hold it in my hand, and then I get that thought, oh, I might need that. I'm gonna put it back. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need this bent nail for whenever I'm hanging. Yeah, it makes no sense, but that's the way frame. I think. And I, look, I'm telling you, if you're out there, and you're thinking, these guys are crazy, mm -mm. You you are this way too. Oh yeah, you know what? My I grandma... don't think there's a house that there you I would challenge anyone to go into a house randomly. Just walk into a house and find and see and try and find the junk and, door. And that, that exists. That list only skims the oh, surface. Geez, um, My grandma He didn't have perfect he didn't have the Dutch pizza woman. shop menu nope. in there. He didn't have all, all the coupons address. from Dutchway. Yeah. Coup coupons Dutchway that are, coupons that are from 1994. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You might like, still be able to go map, back to a map with of that. Pennsylvania where half the roads aren't even there anymore, mm -hmm. or there's new roads. I got that in there. Mm -hmm. What else yep. do I have in my a bag of rubber bands? He didn't say anything about rubber bands. I got rubber bands that when I go to pull it out, they're so dry rot they, they crumble. Snap. Yeah, they did. But they, rubber band but they're dust. there. They're there. It's a bag of rubber bands. I have dust. a marble. I don't even know where the heck that marble came from. But I'm not gonna throw you it. You know, away. I I got a whole bunch of the backs of tablets, just the cardboard. Oh, the car piece. Yeah, I save those. Yeah, because you need, might need to shim a, a coffee table or something. Uh, yeah, I might. Yeah, I save. We need to do a survival guide, like the must-haves of any self-respecting drunk drawer. Yeah, the name gives it a bad connotation. Mm -hmm. It's not junk. Treasure, treasure drawer. No, I think I like the idea of it being like a survival drawer. Survival drawer. The Call them that instead of junk drawer. Yeah. Take that negative and make it a positive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because there's stuff in there that could save your life. You know. Or could get you out of a bind. I'm such a Pennsylvania Dutchman, I have not limited it to just junk drawers. I have junk boxes. I've got junk bags. 
You know, I've got all sorts of junk everywhere, but it's good stuff. No, it's not junk. It's good. It's, it's survival not junk. stuff. Survival stuff. Yeah. I would be curious to know. I bet you somebody on a for their PhD in sociology studied this, and if they didn't, here's an idea. Or psychology. I don't know. Go. Do different cultures have different things in their junk drawer? Because that guy's list, even though he's in Buffalo, I maybe think, he grew up Pennsylvania Dutch. Because that list is dead on. That I was in both of my both stuff. of my grandparents' houses. Had him had it, all that stuff. My parents' house, my house, your house. I think this but, could be the great unifying thing of things that bring everybody together. It's possibly. like, hey, your junk drawers just no, like my sir, junk drawer. Stop saying survival junk drawer. drawer. Survival drawer. Yeah, I'm telling you what. No, I I bet there's differences. I bet you, like, if you walked into, like, I don't know, some other culture, maybe on the other side of the world, they have junk drawers, uh, survival drawers, mm -hmm. but I yep. wonder if they have different things in theirs. Like what? Well, I don't know. what that, That'd be the question. I just asked. I don't mm -hmm. know. Like, does, does somebody in China, does their survival drawer have... Maybe they have used chopsticks or something in there. Oh, I don't yeah. know. Or one mismatched chopstick. Yeah, mismatched chopsticks, stuff like that. Or if you travel to like I don't know uh, Finland, and you you know what do they got in there? What what do they got in their drawer? With if you are one of our international viewers, and we have some, mm -hmm. we have a lot of viewers from Germany, the Palatinate where uh, Pennsylvania Dutch come from. What a do you guys have a a drawer like we're talking about, mm -hmm. and what's in it? I'd be curious to know. Yeah. And if you live somewhere else and you're not Pennsylvania Dutch, but you some for some reason you watch us, let us know or you know somebody. Like, oh, I was at my friend's house. He grew up, I don't know, Irish Catholic. Mm -hmm. What's in their drawer? Hmm. One can wonder. I'm really curious. Leave a comment in the section below. We'll do a follow-up we'll video. We'll do a follow-up video and f what we found on. And I'm telling you what, I'm going to try and make it a point that anytime I go to my friend's houses or I go somewhere, I'm going to ask them. Oh, do yeah. You have a, let me ask you a stupid Send question. Send us pictures of your drunk drawers. Wee, there you go. That's something. With labels and... Yeah, but... Like a yeah. fine... Or where's Waldo, but where's where's the tape measure? Yeah, right, right. Where's oh, the... And I have a... He didn't say anything about a screwdriver. There's always, always a, a screwdriver, screwdriver and pliers. And I have one that does both Phillips and regular, but... You get light you, bulbs to bat, to flashlights. You don't yeah, need little, little light bulbs. Yeah, right, right, right. Little light Night bulbs. Night light, light bulbs. Mm -hmm. got like four of those in there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Send us... Birthday pencils, candles. Pencils, pencils with an eraser that's so dried out... It, it it's like a rock. Yeah, but you can't get rid of it. No, you you've can't had get it rid of it because there's still there's still pencil left. Mm-hmm. Yep. Survival drawers. Mm-hmm. Yes, and change yeah. it. If you hear somebody say junk drawer, you say excuse me. So if you might have noticed, the, the the camera went dead on us, and we had to scurry upstairs into the junk to the survival drawer. For another battery. And son of a gun. And I had to lick all the batteries and got zapped six or eight times to figure out which one was good enough to put in this camera. So I did this for you, you the it's viewer. Love. It's love. It's love. Pain hurts sometimes. Pain always hurts. <laughs> <laughs> love hurts sometimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yay. Hey, oh. we better be. Hey, keep those questions coming. So we don't even really know where the video went dead. But I'm we not just even, figured I'm, it I'm That's it. how we keep you coming back That's for more. Right. That's right. So, you heard it from the Dutchman. <laughs> until next time. Or until our batteries die. Until this 3% <laughs> battery goes down. We'll go dig another 5%. There mark. we go. Whatever. But, until hey, next yeah. Yo, yo. Mox, Mox good. good. Why, if you have a question, why now you have to email us at bus.pa at yahoo.com.